You want to manifest a romantic relationship, but what if the person that you're interested in doesn't want the same kind of relationship commitment that you do? In other words, how does another person's free will affect your manifesting? Hi, I'm Melissa and I'm the founder of the Spirit Guided Life School and I'm here to help you trust your inner guidance and learn the tools to develop your spiritual abilities so you can live a life of more purpose, joy and abundance. So if that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe to this channel, comment, like, share these videos. It really helps me to spread the word for this free information here on YouTube. So today's question came from one of my viewers and previous clients actually, Vanessa. And here's what she wrote. How would my manifestation guarantee I will receive what I want with other individuals involved? Could these individuals sway my manifestation in a different direction? It was a really interesting question and a really good one. So I wanted to address it in this video because it may be a question that you've been asking yourself too. So first of all, what is manifesting? Manifesting is a word that's very woo woo and overused out there, but truly what manifesting means in my opinion is to bring an idea into fruition. It's bringing something that first of all only exists as an energy, as an idea, as a goal, right? It's in my head. It's in the universe as an energy form, but it hasn't manifested into the material world yet. So manifestation is the process of bringing something from the spiritual world as in just an idea and making it happen, bringing it to fruition on the material plane. Now, in order to manifest, you really need to get to the heart of what you really, really want. Not just what you think you want or what you think you should want or everyone else tells you you want, but what you really, really want in your heart of hearts. That's the first step. Sometimes, for example, we think we want to win the lottery. And if anyone says that to me, I will often ask them, okay, why do you really want that? And they will say, well, when I have, you know, $10 million or more these days in the lotteries, I won't need to work anymore. I will be able to choose what I do with my time. I will be able to get out of debt. I will be able to pay off my mortgage and maybe I'll be able to retire my spouse who's working too hard. All these reasons start coming through. So in essence, that's what the person really wants is the why behind winning the lottery. So the lottery is just one possible way of bringing those things into fruition that the person really, really wants. So if you think you want to win the lottery, ask yourself again, what is it that I really want from that though? Because money in and of itself, sitting in a bank account doesn't do much. Maybe it gives you some peace of mind, but that's about it. So really we want what the money will provide us. And so base your manifestation on that, what you really, really want. Maybe what you really, really want is to be able to quit your job and do something that's more fulfilling. Okay, great focus on that. So with today's question of free will, this often comes up in relationships. If, for example, you're really wanting to manifest a romantic relationship, a new soulmate partner into your life, then focus on what you really, really want. You might think that you want a certain person to be that partner for you and get fixated on them being the desire rather than what you actually, actually want. So just the same as when you think you want to win the lottery, but actually there's something deeper underneath it. This can be the same thing with relationships. Free will is really important. That's one of the laws of the universe and one of the laws that your angels and guides definitely abide by. They will not interfere with your free will and they will certainly not interfere with anyone else's. So if you have a certain person that is the object of your affection and you are daydreaming and desiring and wanting to manifest that person to be your romantic partner, yet that person is not actually choosing that or isn't committed to that in the way that you actually need them to be, then the universe will not interfere with that. The universe will not manifest something that goes against another person's free will. 
So in the context of relationships, think about what you really, really want. So be aware that you might think that you want a certain outcome if there's a person that you're wanting to manifest into relationship and it's just not working. If you try to keep manifesting that, you are interfering with the laws of the universe. So come back to that bigger picture. What is the outcome that I really, really want? Right? And think about, okay, if, if this person's free will is not choosing that, then I believe in an abundant universe. I believe there are many more opportunities out there for me. I believe there are many more people to meet who will be a match because I'm manifesting them just like they're manifesting me. Timing is always an interesting factor when we're manifesting. Sometimes manifestations can happen quickly. Sometimes they take longer. And it's because the universe is lining things up to be a match energetically for what you are putting out there. And sometimes that takes a little bit of time for circumstances to unfold in the way that you need to. Realize too that often things that seem like big setbacks disappointments or mistakes can actually be the universe's way of showing you that you were going down the wrong path and something better is available to you. It all comes down to how do you feel about your circumstances and how much do you trust in the process that is unfolding before you in your life. Now to address the second part of Vanessa's question, yes, it is certainly true that other people's actions can affect us, but there's always a way to manifest what you desire. You just can't get stuck on the how instead of the what. Winning the lottery is an example of one possible how it could occur how I can manifest abundance in order to have what I desire. But there are so many other ways that you can manifest that desire that you want of what you're really, really wanting. So you need to focus on the end outcome when you're going through the manifesting process. If you visualize or if you send energy to your manifestations, and that's something I'm going to teach you in the New Year's Magic Workshop, then you want to actually be visualizing the end outcome that you really, really want and not get stuck on the how, okay? So in the context of relationships, we can say, okay, I'm gonna visualize and energize the, the kind of connection that I would like to have. Not it being one particular person or trying to control a situation or control a certain person, True manifestation is really, really getting in touch with your heart's desire, trusting that it will unfold and allowing the universe to show you how in the right timing. Easier said than done. But if this resonates with you and you'd like to learn more about specific tools and a step-by-step -step way to manifest anything your heart's desire, then I invite you to join me on January 1st, 2024 for my New Year's Magic Workshop. I'm going to teach you my seven step manifesting formula and you will be able to utilize this into your life to bring in your heart's desire and have more joy and fulfillment in your daily life. So go ahead and take a look at the comments below where I've put the link to sign up for that workshop. I would love to have you. And if you'd like to watch another video, here's what I recommend next. It's called, Are You Controlling Everything? Here's how to let go and trust the universe. So go ahead and watch that one next and I can't wait to see you at the New Year's workshop.